Greeting, welcome to Global Project Control YouTube channel. In this lesson, at the first, uh, we create a report in WBS uh, with time distribute data specification. And after that, we use this report for SCARF preparation in EPC individually. And after that, uh, I will show you how to update your uh, created report less than one minute. Okay, let's begin. At the first, uh, you should open your project and summarize it. I use Collapse 2. Collapse 2, so level 3. I don't want to create report by level 3. I want to use to level 2. For EPC individually, EPC. I have um, other section. Uh, this section have not any activities right now, so I can delete it in the report. I mean, uh, and after that, uh, I find out what is the level of my WBS. My EPC WBS level is two. So I'm going to report tab from here and uh, summarize my other report and create the new report. This is the new report. I use time distribute data and I like to create report over WBS. And what is the column I need? Uh, WBS code, WBS name, total activity. I don't think so if I need it, but I put it in the report because sometimes I want to you know, delete some um, activities or something like that. And what is the uh, major point for me is uh, budget non-labor unit. So I'm looking for budget non-labor units. Uh, from here budget at completion and finally I can find project non labor units. It's okay for me. And I push OK button. I'm going to group and sort. I want to do not show me if the WES is empty. And I like to only uh, report, uh, summarize in level 2 of WBS. So I uh, select level 2. And uh, I don't need grand total or summary or grouping alphabetically or something like that. Uh, so I push OK button. If you want to your report uh, only uh, specify to uh, some WBS or something like that, you can use uh, use it. Over here, used by WBS name or WBS path or something like that. You can equal it or uh, assign it to your uh, project based on your WBS. So uh, we don't need to use it, okay? And uh, I select next. And what is my time scale? Uh, my time scale is based on month from project start to project finish. You can also use fiscal or ordinal date according to your project and your setting. Uh, this is time interval field. This is the very important uh, for us. Now let's me to use the bigger uh, column box and I use to uh, I want to use to some field. 
uh, I want to show you some difference between actual non-labor unit and the baseline project non-labor units for this and I do not rename this field because I want to you can find it easily if you use this uh, time interval field you can find actual non-labor unit and the baseline project non-labor unit these are not cumulative data these are time interval data and these are cumulative data I it is easily more easily to use cumulative data so I rename my report WBS level 2 for EPC S curve okay that's great I do not run the report I save it for run the report directly to Excel you can use this setting memorize it because it's very helpful for you if I push OK button waiting for a moment Excel open it and this is my date from first to end of my report okay that's great this is my solution you should copy this sheet exact copy okay before anything else you should save your file and change the type EPCS curve okay that is sheet of EPC curve oh that is curve calculation sheet okay in this section I want to write a formula this is very easy formula I link it to the main sheet it's calculate uh, calculation of uh, my progress okay I want to develop this formula to the other rows this, uh, this formula means uh, what is the progress of uh, our plan progress on the August divided to total budget of project it's uh, let us to know uh, what is the uh, our progress to this month according to this formula uh, this is the end of project and my data date on this project is August 20 okay that's great let me to rename uh, cumulative plan rename these fields As you see, I'm not going to change any place of uh, uh, these uh, rows or delete any uh, blank field. I write formula for engineering. The progress of this field divided to total budget I freeze total budget and and develop the formula and develop this formula for this cell 
this is the cell uh, row number 8 so I only change the progress to the 8 and also I use copy and paste this is the number line 9 F9 Okay. And as you see, my actual data is only to up to I guess 20. And what is my construction? I use copy and paste formula for my construction okay okay I want to build this curve this is the main project this is E P and C I select this data go to insert button and what is the recommended chart? I use this chart type. And this is my chart. As you see, this is my EPCS curve. And if I like to show it to you in the individual sheet, EPC, this is EPC1. You can find it. and if you like to build only engineering one you should select data should select data go to insert chart this is my in engineering curve and if you want to move your chart to other sheet you can use it okay that's I think that's enough uh, let's to update it if I'm going to I come back to P6 I come back to P6 I used to update progress in order to change my progress to October as you see uh, my data date is on the August, so I use apply 
I'm waiting for update progress as you see my actual completed actual percent completed is 25.69 let's just see what happened to my project okay my project updated successfully and my actual percent complete is totally changed if I want to update my S curve let me to insert something to my S curve and first of all let me to change it to the hundred okay that's great and I want to use shape my this is my previous data date I waited this shape and change it and this is my EPC I add the shape to my EPC to add a line I add a line to my EPC chart too. Okay, that's great. This is my EPC. And this is my data date. Okay, and I want to update my project. This is my formula. I continue my formula up to next two months. No, not right now. Okay, I come back to my project. Let's see. Go to report. And run the report. With this setting, directly open by Excel. And the report created without any changes to this report I use control R copy and paste this data to the main sheet this sheet created by P6 previous time without any changes go to calculation my data date change for two months after that my progress repeated so it's not good for me to change it and go to your EPC your curve is updated my curve is updated that's it your S curve updated automatically only by by what? By copy and paste to to cell update by formula. Uh, if you need uh, some additional information, please keep in touch. Uh, I'm ready uh, for more clarification if you need this report I can share it or PDF file uh, this PDF file uh, available on my LinkedIn if you need it uh, only send me a text I will provide this data for you thank you I hope this lesson would be useful for you Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram for further lesson. Also, you can follow my hashtag at sign global project control to find all of my lesson at the same time. Thank you for your time and hope to see you soon.